Ivan Batanov, the director of the Aeroflot Group's Network and Revenue Management Department, anticipates that the first deliveries of MC-21 aircraft will take place in 2026. According to TASS, he disclosed this information during the Pro Movement Forum. We are the first to expect additional MC-21s in 2026. Currently, we are actively working with the manufacturer on customizing this aircraft, Batanov specified. Despite previous delays, the MC-21-310 is scheduled for serial production in 2025. Aeroflot executed an agreement with PJSC United Aircraft Corporation UAC for the delivery of 339 aircraft at the 2022 Eastern Economic Forum. 18 MC-21s and 34 SJ-100s were also contracted at that time. Meanwhile, First Deputy Prime Minister of Russia Denis Minturov said that the government is trying to achieve the previously stated timeline for the serial production of the advanced medium-haul passenger aircraft, MC-21. In terms of following procedures, we are doing everything to stay on schedule. Technology is what it is, but we are working, said Denis Mantorov. The original timetable for the delivery of the first serial MC-21 to an airline was September 2025, as stipulated in the government's Aviation Industry Development Program. This means that everyone involved in finalizing the aircraft has about 10 months to find substitutes for 36 systems previously sourced from Western manufacturers, complete 200 flights as part of flight testing, and certify the airliner. This is despite the fact that, according to Industry Minister Anton Alikhanov, the first flight of the MC-21 in its fully Russian configuration is expected to take place only in March or April 2025. In the interim, Rostec has effectively evaluated the durability of the new cockpit glazing for the MC-21. The product, which was entirely manufactured in Russia, was able to withstand the force of a bird strike at speeds exceeding 600 km per hour. It was developed by ONPP Tenologia. This represents one of the phases of the aircraft's additional certification. The tests fully confirmed the calculated characteristics. Similar products, ensuring both protection and a clear view from the cockpit, are also installed on another domestic airliner, the SJ-100. Production volumes of Russian passenger aircraft will increase. By 2028, we plan to expand glazing deliveries for superjets by 2.5 times and for the MC-21 by more than 11 times, said Andre Silkin, General Director of ONPP Technologia. The MC-21 cockpit windshield is a seven-layer laminate that is composed of four silicate glass layers that are bonded with a polymer film. It is equipped with an electric heating function that prevents misting during temperature fluctuations and preserves its exceptional optical properties. In the past, these products were exclusively produced overseas. The Electro Prebor plant in the Tambov region will also establish a new production facility for inertial navigation systems. These systems will be produced for Russian passenger aircraft, such as the Superjet MC-21, IL-114, TU-214, and IL-96. Electro Prebor's current workforce of over 4,200 employees will be supplemented by 250 new positions as a result of the facility's expansion, which will span 7,500 square meters. An inertial navigation system functions independently without the necessity for external references or incoming signals. It is equipped with gyroscopic devices and linear acceleration sensors. Now, do you think the MC-21 will make the 2025 handover deadline? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.